Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. What are the differences between CPI and PCE inflation measures? Sources of data. The CPI and PCE inflation measures derive their data from different sources. The CPI uses data from household surveys conducted by the Bureau of Labor Statistics, while the PCE relies on data from the Gross Domestic Product Report and from suppliers, as well as from the Bureau of Economic Analysis. The CPI focuses exclusively on out-of-pocket expenditures made by urban households, excluding other expenditures not paid for directly by consumers. In contrast, the PCE includes spending made by both urban and rural consumers, as well as expenditures made on their behalf by third parties, such as employer-provided health insurance, Medicare, and Medicaid. Scope the PCE has a broader scope than the CPI, encompassing a wider range of goods and services. It includes purchases made by nonprofit organizations on behalf of households, which are not included in the CPI. Additionally, the PCE covers medical care services paid for by employers and government programs, whereas the CPI only includes out-of-pocket medical expenses. Formulas and weighting. The formulas used to calculate the CPI and PCE differ significantly. The CPI uses an index formula that updates item weights biannually, moving to annual updates in 2023, while the PCE updates item weights every quarter. This frequent updating in the PCE allows it to better capture consumer substitution effects, where consumers switch to cheaper products due to relative price differences. The weighting of components also varies between the two indices. For example, housing makes up approximately 33% of the CPI basket, but only 15% of the PCE basket. Similarly, healthcare spending is weighted more heavily in the PCE than in the CPI. Consumer substitution. The PCE formula allows for more flexibility in capturing consumer substitution. If the price of a particular item increases, the PCE can reflect consumers switching to alternative products, which can lead to smoother price changes and typically lower reported inflation rates compared to the CPI. Seasonal adjustment and revisions. The two indices also differ in their seasonal adjustment procedures and revision policies. The PCE can be substantially revised, whereas the CPI, non-seasonally adjusted, is never revised. This difference can affect their use in various economic applications, such as contract indexation and treasury inflation-protected securities. Inclusion of specific items. The PCE and CPI measure some items differently. For instance, the PCE calculates airfare prices using data on airline passenger revenues and passenger miles traveled while the CPI uses a fixed basket of air routes. This difference in measurement can contribute to the variation in inflation rates between the two indices. Historical trends. Over long periods, the CPI and PCE tend to track each other, but short-term divergences are common. Historically, CPI inflation has generally run about 0.4 percentage points higher than PCE inflation, although this gap can vary significantly depending on the economic conditions. Federal Reserve Preference The Federal Reserve prefers the PCE as its primary measure of inflation due to its comprehensive coverage, ability to capture changing consumer spending patterns, and more frequent weight updates. These features make the PCE a more dynamic and representative measure of inflation in the U.S. economy. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.